and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how YouTube looks in Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this video is for Daydream District. As you can see the interface is very clear. We have the home screen, then we have the 360 degrees videos, subscriptions and the search bar. You can search by voice or if you want you can use the keyboard just as I do here. As you could see, the typing experience in Daydream VR is really nice. It works very well with the motion controller. And I could even imagine that in the future they might enable some kind of swipe gestures. When you get to the results screen, you can easily scroll through the results using your touchpad. See how I make the swipe motions on the motion controller? It works really nice. Yeah, on the day that I recorded this video, which was like Two days ago I had a very slow Wi-Fi connection at home, so if later you see lots of waiting and loading times, this has nothing to do with the YouTube app. That is absolutely my fault. Okay, so um, let's find the video to play. So you can see what how playback, playback looks like and um, what you can do with the video screen. So first of all, the location of, of the screen is in some kind of dome, which already looks very, very cool. And on the right and left, you can see more information about the video that you're going to, to watch. And what is really, really nice is that you can zoom in and zoom out also simply with your motion controller. And what is a really, really cool feature is that you can grab the screen like I do now and place it anywhere in the dome. So you can put it on top of the dome and lie down and watch it however you want. And of course, there's ads as well. It's YouTube. Yeah, so the video should load in a moment and then let's simply have a look at it. It's a video about Daydream. So we're here at Google with San Francisco and we are checking out Daydream View. So Daydream is Google's new VR platform that's going to encompass a bunch of different phones and headsets. And Daydream View is the first one of those headsets. It's supposed to feel like a piece of clothing and it's designed to fit any Daydream phone, except that right now there are only two Daydream ready phones, the Pixel and the Pixel XL, which were also announced today. So we're going to go take a look at what it actually feels like to use it. So Daydream View is foam and fabric and it's kind of squishy. Over on this side, you have your face mask, which you can actually take out and hand wash. And then right in the middle, there's this plastic shell, which is sort of where the VR magic happens. In order to use it, you pull this little loop and open it up. And you can see that you've got your controller. Okay, I think you got a very good idea now about how 2D videos look on the YouTube app on Daydream VR. It's really great that you can anywhere where you want it on that dome. So even if you want to lie down in your bed and watch it, you can. So the other thing that I would like to show you now is how these videos look like. And um, wow, it's really good. I can tell you already. So here now we have a look at the experience that Google was advertising. It's about the, the London Museum. So let's have a short look into this experience. Welcome to the world famous Natural History Museum in London. You're now standing in the Fossil Marine Reptile Gallery. While dinosaurs ruled on land, these strange creatures dominated the oceans. These are all plesiosaurs. Their sharp teeth and long necks earned them the nickname Sea Dragons. But a far more dangerous predator roamed the Jurassic Sea. The Ramaliosaurus. This extraordinary creature was like nothing that exists today. 
I can tell you that this experience is really, really good. I feel like I'm standing in this London Museum, where actually I have been there in real life, and it's very, very close. So, um, I hope you understand better now about how YouTube works in Daydream VR. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on subscribe to never miss any of the Daydream District videos in the future.